Okay, we are in the new place. The new office is complete chaos. I don't really feel like cleaning it up today, quite frankly. However, it is making Independence Day today. So we're not gonna clean up, we're gonna go out, we're gonna see what goes on in, in Mako on making Independence Day and see what kind of a fiesta they've got going on right after coffee. Yes, it is Mexico, not Mexico. They don't get offended if you say it. But I'm trying to learn the language, okay? So if you're trying to learn the language, say it right. The X in Spanish does not make the X sound. Sort of a H-ish sound, but not, not really long. Sometimes I do it too much. Mexico, it's, that's a little bit over-accented, right? It's more like Mexico. Bienvenidos a Mexico. Coke samples? Me too. <laughs> Apparently there's all kinds of stuff going on. This is like, this is like the big one here. This is the big one. Cinco de Mayo is not the big holiday in Mexico. I mean, Mexicans are great at finding a reason to have a fiesta, but this is Independence Day. Friends gave us some tickets to the tequila festival where you can like take your kids and there's, it's at the water park and there's tequila samples and kids swimming and parents drinking tequila and Nah, nothing could go wrong, it's fine. Are you the lifeguard? You watching over people? Making sure no one gets crazy with the tequila in the water? Are you, are, are you gonna give arbitrary orders and yell at people in the pool, Titus? What about you, Asher? Are you the assistant lifeguard that enforces the edicts of Titus? I got a little storm coming in. This is kind of what happens down here in the evening this time of year. It's, uh, there's, all, there's usually an evening rain, so things are kind of winding down. I don't know if they're partying down here later or not, but I'm sure there'll be something going down in Centro. It's a little bit rainy, but Centro is full. Nonetheless, they're having a party. Is, uh, they light this at midnight. This is right in the middle of the square. This is fireworks. You can see them on there. <laughs> and it's supposed to be pretty spectacular. All these Mexican flags are like the, the, the terror of patriots in the USA who pretend that their flag makes them free if they wave it around furiously and, and praise the blue ISIS and the government and the, the soldiers. But real patriots know that, that freedom, freedom comes from defending it and refusing to submit to treason and tyranny. He stole this toy. Here you go, guys. Uh, who had this? I think he's a Look at you and Anna all matching. Girls. Oh, you need more food? Mas comida?
This is Chili's Nohada. This is kind of like the, because uh, it has the colors, right? So this is kind of, the taco's like the national food, but Chili's Nohada is kind of the national uh, Independence Day. A full-on sit-down restaurant, Chili's Nohada is a very beautiful dish. And uh, Google it, Google it, you'll see much fancier. What are you going after there, Titus? Are you going to start the revolution there? Yes! yes. <laughs> but from what it sounds like, they're having this party kind of in every town all over the country, including big racks of fireworks that they set up in the town square over there. To explain, like, in brief, the, the Mexican story of independence, but my brother Nathan's much better, so cue Nathan to give it to you in under 60 seconds. 1810, the Spanish Empire in Europe is in the middle of a war with Napoleon, and it's not doing so well. And so the Spanish holdings in the New World, particularly Nuevo España, which is now Mexico and Central America, decide that they want to be independent of Spain. Two of the leaders of this movement are Miguel Hidalgo y Costilla and José Murillo Morelos. Miguel Hidalgo gives a speech in Dolores Guanajuato calling for a, a rising up against Spain to win Mexico's independence. And this is El Rito de Dolores, the cry of Dolores. This is what Mexican Independence Day celebrates, not the actual victory and independence, which occurred 10 years after. This is actually before the first battle and the inciting incident that eventually led to Mexican independence. They're gonna light off these uh, this tower of fireworks. Uh, we missed the fireworks. We were told at midnight they lit those off. So we went home, we put the kids to bed, we rolled on down here half hour early, and they were already lit off. So how about that? But uh, that's okay because I think there's a more important message here. It's been really cool to see people kind of celebrating here on Independence Day and and uh, get excited about, uh, about rebelling against tyranny. It's that... Uh, oh, no! Viva Mexico, cabrones! If there's any word of caution uh, I can give to me, uh, compadres of Mexico, it's, it's that you don't want to become uh, like the USA. Be careful when they give you pageants and fireworks and, and, and dances. Celebrate your freedom and the fact that you were built, but, but watch the way your police stand in the square. Watch the way they move and the things they enforce and the way they talk to you and the way your government acts toward you. Make sure they keep fearing you. There's, there's plenty of corruption everywhere in the world. Governments always do that. There's plenty of corruption in Mexico, but you know what? You have so much more freedom here. There's, there's potential. And so I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, watching a celebration, thinking about my country that's lost, that's gone, that no longer is a republic, that no longer has freedom, and that will not be restored by protests and by, and by people pretending that troops keep us safe or police are heroes. Don't let them make you hero worship the enforcers and the killers and the soldiers and the politicians. Make sure you keep that uh, fight because they will take your pageantry and your fiesta that represents something valuable and they'll turn it into nationalism and lies and worship of the state instead of love of freedom and worship of God. All right guys, good